Hello everybody, welcome to the NAF Rules Cup, a 32 player knockout tournament. This is the first round, we've got Dimmy G with his undead team up against Erleon Virgoff with his chaos team. And uh, it's lots and lots of skills, loads of block, some wrestle and a guard and a sure hands for the chaos and for the undead it's lots of block a wrestle a tackler and a guard or all the skills on the agility three positionals nothing on the mummies and that's your favorite build isn't it dimmy hello <laughs> hello jimmy hello everybody uh it's the one i use yeah it's uh it was a uh, one that kfo suggested when when I went to my first ever tabletop tournament and <clears throat> so there is the skill pack in this as well where you can have an extra skill and guard mummies and stuff but the reason I play this is just because it's most likely to be what I play at tabletop so extra practice mm, very good and then also I normally have 12 players and a keg rather than 13 players but we can't buy inducements yeah. so yeah, my player got a stun there, Jim, you didn't see. Absolute dicing. Oh, that's lucky. A fisher's ref. A fisher's ref. I was actually like, a fisher's ref is a weird one, because it's good when you get stunned, because you're not getting punched. Like, it's, uh... Yeah. I mean, you're but... getting stunned, though, so it's not that good. <laughs> yeah, but when it's on the LOS, right? Yeah, but, like, chances are, like, you know, like, getting knocked down and stunned isn't too likely, so it's... It's not as bad as just getting a mummy stunned or whatever, sure. Like, if you're getting a player stunned, you want it to be an LOS one. So, yeah, it's still bad, though. No blitz? No. Surprised I would have definitely gone for an ogre blitz. An ogre block blitz on a mummy. Yes, please. Block. Block. Hey. Block. Oh, I, I, do you know what I would have done, Jimmy? What would you have done, Jimmy? I'd have... Completely overcommitted here, <laughs> um, and put a guard. I would have put, I would have put the guard in, Bosch. Yeah. Oh, and then three dice. Ghoul in. Me. No, no, Ghoul in here, and then right. the block Ghoul goes, um, and another player. Oh, there. and, and then chain block him Ghoul, one, two, moment. three, four, five. Yep, hit him, Bosch, Bosch, chain in the warrior, and then mighty blow the warrior as well. Yeah, I was just going for the hit, hit it onto the mummy, so if I get pushes, then I can free dice him with waiting play. Yeah, and that, that protects your ghouls a bit more than, you know, if you'd got both down and stuff, it would have been a bit shit, wouldn't it? If you'd done it Yeah, because then you get hit by the wrestle, yeah. yeah. And then I just figured that my tackle does nothing in this game, so he can be fodder. Yep. Definitely, I would have definitely just be blitzing with the ogre every single turn here. By the way, because he's got blow, yeah. blow, and he could even be three dicing as well. So yeah, I'm I'm a hundred percent leaning into the ogre heavily in this match. If I am, if I am the chaos. <laughs> you can I hate some of the stuff I do, <laughs> <laughs> but. I, I was trying to max blocks <laughs> and it went horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm excited to hear this, see this even. Uh, I think I'm just going to block and then hit the auger here. This is good, isn't it? Yeah, this is. that's what I was thinking, yeah. But then I wanted to kind of rescue these ghouls. Mm, yeah, so you've gigantically split your team in half. Yes! Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> glad you noticed it, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the thought process was their AV like 9 plus, so just punch them all. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, as much as I, I can. Mean, yeah. And like, obviously, it's like really early, so I don't need to worry about defending the score, because if he does score, then I'm just going to call back, potentially. Yeah. But yeah, this this <laughs> this becomes a bit of a problem. <laughs> <laughs> the stun, the stun of that beastman makes helps you with this with this split. Right? I'm, yeah, like something. I'm winning the fight. That's what I was thinking. I was like, yeah. I'm...
He's blitzed two blodgers and got a bit of defender stumbles on both. Pretty mm. great. Wow. Pretty, pretty good for Dimbo. Oh, oh. And then this is where it all went wrong. Alright. Because, uh, I don't know if you noticed, Jim. Uh... But there's dice on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> there is. Yes. Not easily, though. Not easily. No, it's like... You've got to make a dodge, which... I don't like making dodges. <laughs> and a GFI. Oh, yeah, no, a dodge and a GFI, yeah. What I would have liked to do here is I've done it a little bit differently to get all three onto the uh, m mummy. Um... I like, I like oh, uh, that yeah. you block this guy and then he blocks him and then you just get all three of them on, on the enemy and, but I mean it doesn't matter too much. Oh you just did a 1D? Yeah. Disgusting. I have block. He didn't have block. Oh another dodge. What a dice lord. Well you know sometimes you got to dodge him. I could never. I. Oh my god what is this <laughs> sorcery? Hmm, not sure about that. Well, we need to keep the wrestle guy where he was. But, mm. yeah, he just bits. I, he just bits with him and scatters it. Yeah, the scatter, scatter was a bit shit for you going all that way. Like that was crazy scatter. Shurans? Mate, it's so annoying. <laughs> Every goddamn time. <laughs> it was the second hand, like the second one he picks it up on. <laughs> yeah, and then this mummy is just completely screwed now. Yeah. Solve the guard. Yeah. Can't do much about it, I guess. Why well, I'm down two players as well, one player. Mm. Could have no, stood maybe. the guarder up though first. Yeah, I was thinking I'm going to dodge him. Because he's no good there, because if I stand him up he's just getting punched, right? Because there's yeah. two guys on him straight away. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know when, when it all goes wrong. Was... Oh, you'll see, Jim. <laughs> <coughs> you'll see. I agreed with that, yeah. Yeah, it's fair enough, defenseless, isn't it? Great scout. Get dodge. Oh, fail, KO'd. Okay, that's more like that's more like a Jim Ghoul dodge, <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, it's just 3 plus, 3 plus, ball on a bludger, GG. Wow. Oh, wow, well, get smashed by an ogre. Yeah, getting smashed <laughs> by, a, by a 3 dice ogre wasn't, uh, wasn't so done. Oh, here we go, full power. He's managed to free up his. Uh, well, he hasn't freed him up yet, but he can free up his. Uh, sure hands sure beastman again. Yeah. Oh, I mean, he could have just moved the warrior first and threw him two deed. Probably should have done. You'll, you'll see some hilarious stuff saying that, won't you? Getting some bang outs now. Yep. Down to eight. Are we gonna see a mummy dodge? No. Mummy dodge. I'm pretty GFI. much pretty much like just pretty like hmm. Mummy dodge double G if I was pretty good, honestly. You reckon? Yeah. <laughs> like I think it was right. Like you're probably not scoring the one turn movement seven, one reroll agility three. So you can basically write off the one turn, and then that was like a five two two to two dice the ball. It's not terrible, is it? Could have knocked the ball in the crowd. I mean, maybe he'll get a better chance, but it looks pretty rough. Three players down, doesn't it? Yeah. 
And Lummy just kept getting hit as well. Yeah. Oh, pal. Oh, pal. Yeah, I guess you've got all the ghouls, haven't you? You can try and dodge out all the ghouls and get into it somehow, but. I would have thought long and hard about the mummy dodge. And again, right? Now it's well, dodging a single GFI. Or it's just a 1D. Or just an instant 1D, yeah. Yeah, okay, that looks better. Oh, get the ghoul. Can this ghoul oh, get well. there? 1, 2, 3, 4, GFI, GFI. 1, 2, 3, 4, no. So you could 4, 3, you could try the first 4 plus, right? And then if you make it, do the other one. Um, I think I like that more than a 1D. In fact, probably just, just double dodge anyway, right? Because you've got you've got you've dodged the first one, team reroll the second one. But yeah, getting the ball yeah. down is all right. Problem is, he's got sure hands, so he just picks it straight back. Yeah, up, yeah exactly. Yeah, it's so frustrating. Wait, it's turn seven. Oh, he's handed it off. I was going to say, why isn't he gone for Yeah, but then, oh, he, then he does the foul! <coughs> out of range. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Doesn't that's... get sent off. Gets the cats. <laughs> and then then runs, runs towards your players. <laughs> oh my god, okay, this is, this is pretty bonkers. <laughs> you could have just run over here. <laughs> <laughs> it gets better. It gets better. Oh my god, didn't. didn't. Screen it! Oh my goodness! Okay, well, that was wild. And then I'm like, yep, I'm done. <laughs> yep, yep. That was wild. Wait for it, Jimmy. What turn is it? It's turn 8, Jimmy. We're gonna have a um, foul first, are we? Who are we gonna foul with? A warrior? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's got bigger boots, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> it's a KO. <laughs> Before okay. scoring, and then scores. <laughs> okay, that, that's mad. There's, no, there's, no, there's nothing else to say. <laughs> Jesus. I mean, I've got two bench. I wasn't too bothered. I've got ten players now, and then I've got like an LOS, and then like he's he's got twelve players. So fouling was would have been fine, except he was going to score, and it was with a bloody warrior, a block warrior. Like yeah. Oof. Yeah, block warrior. Yeah. Fouling throughout the drive with rookies would have been fine because you haven't you haven't done anything. Oh, and this quick snap gave me like loads of extra hits as well, which is amazing. Mm. Couldn't believe it. No, it's, it's hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> warrior foul before you score. Flip me. So endangered the score and foul with literally his best player, a block warrior. I mean, you can argue a blocked ogre is better, I guess, but. Block warriors, yeah. I guess a bl is a block is a block ogre better than a block warrior. I'm not sure it is. It's got fixed skull, right? Yeah, and it's also got strength five and mighty blow, but it's also got loner and uh, bone. Yeah, loner. loner. Oh my god, there's a big foul. That's a huge foul. Apple fails. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> look at dog, Dimmy. I was like, yes. So we're still set up for a 2-1 a after all the time, probably. Maybe, oh yeah, with three kills, can't try and score early, I don't think. I might have to. Yeah, I, I wanted to score early, I wanted to score early, and then the kick was a bit deep, and then I was just like... I think I got a high kick, was it? Yeah, high yeah. kick. Yeah, and then a cool sting catcher. I'd have moved this one to the high kick, right, so you had another play of like, kind of further back to help. Yeah. Shepherding it. But yeah, this kick means you're like five turns minimum or whatever to score. Yeah, so I was just like, then now it's like 16, right? Rather than. I was. I did contemplate the. Quick score. And then what I wanted to do here, I learned my lesson against the game against Soul. Mm. So. Nice. What I, what I wanted to do was foul, 
Um, but I thought I'd do the pickup first. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've got the zombie on the side there, right? Yes. So I was going to foul him, but then I was like, oh no, I'll do the pickup. And then I failed the pickup. And I'm not re rolling that. Because so. no, now you've got to conserve the re rolls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OT, yeah, OT. But yeah, this, this. Like, Chaos aren't, like, terrible, you know? No, they're all... Strength 4 Blitz from any player is really good. Yeah, and the fact that they've, they've all got, like, block and stuff. Yeah. They're not terrible, they're just not orcs. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, and it orcs are just them, but way better. Mm. Well, they're not quite the same, are they? But... No, a bit slower. But tougher. And, like, the, the beastmen are, like, so squishy. Like, all I wanted to do was free dice beastmen, basically. Yeah. yeah. Did you not consider the, uh, 2D from the zombie? I'm gonna do it, yeah. I just wanted to knock him out of the square so I can knock him onto the mummy. Yeah. See, I would have quite liked um, doing this block first. So that if you push him, you get the 3D from the mummy. And if you power him, oh. then you power him okay. to you could you could you could power him to there, and and follow right, and then that gives you the 2D with block from him. And then if you push him there, then you get the mummy. Then you got the 3D with the mummy, yeah. Or you've just got him not. You've got the warrior on the mummy, so yeah. I mean, I don't think it matters much, but it's just. Uh, I would have done it that way, as slightly greedy, a slightly greedier way of you know, you know, saying you know. After you said that you just wanted three dice with mummies. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I would have tried that slight, way, like slight little extra way. But then I also didn't want to like block with him yet, just because the ball wasn't like I didn't want to block with the guard guy because the ball wasn't secured yet. So. Mm -hmm. Right. I'll just get you the guard guy back. And then I've got myself a little, little cage. Screeny poos. Little L cage. <laughs> he does not like blocking with this ogre, does he? No, he doesn't. Like, he literally doesn't do it all game, which is incredible. Yeah. Early in Virgov, if you're watching, if you've got a block. Ogre, smash people with it, it would be my advice. <laughs> smash people with the ogre. Yep. Especially mummies. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, especially, you just need one assist and you've got block. It's 75% to put it down. Kind of sucks, obviously, if he goes bonehead and then, you, you know, you've got somebody you just fed. He tagged on it, yeah. yeah. But if, you, if you're hitting, like, a normal play and you're just putting two players and then he boneheads, it's not bad, is it? And then if you don't, you've got... Huge chance to knock people over with mighty blow. Very unlikely to ever turn over, even if you don't re-roll. Because obviously you could try to re-roll with the loner, but with you don't have to. But... Glorious. That's what we wanted, Jim. That's what you wanted, Jim. What do you mean you didn't want that? I don't want that. I want all of your blocks to be dub skulls. <laughs> <What? laughs> because you're a horrible b bastard, Dimmy. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> <laughs> you know you are. <laughs> oh, amazing. Okay, we've got to see an ogre smash this turn. Smash. And can knock the other mummy into the ogre as well. I don't know what's going on. I, I like knocking that one into the ogre. The ogre's on both, and he can punch whichever one he likes. Oh, dear, GFI. Well. Yeah, keep knocking over my, that mummy. I, I get my mummies stuck so much. It's annoying as hell. Mm. 
There's only so much you can do, isn't there? It's tough. Yeah, like I was like trying to max blocks and really failing at it, to be honest. Very safe move sometimes. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's outrageous, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> It's Oop. so bad when you see it back again. Well, I thought I don't want my ghoul there. Like I'd rather have the zombie there. I had to change my mind. Yeah, that's reasonable. I was like, right, if he's gonna blitz him, I'd rather he blitz the zombie. Yeah, the mummy on the right is well into truly screwed, which is yeah. a real problem. But then you know, like you're trading one for one with his ogre. It's not terrible, is it? That's it, yeah, I'm trying to just eat the activations. Stop them getting in front of me. That's the POW. The full POW! Full instant POW. I, I swear didn't... God gives players like minus 2 AV. Yeah. I much prefer just blitzing with block, right, and then and then the beast man could have just assisted normally. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, the chain out. Well, yeah, I'm still trying to max blocks, which is probably incorrect at this stage, I think. Uh, uh, yeah, turn five panic. You probably should be. Uh... Turn five panic. I, I wasn't panicking. I was probably a little bit too relaxed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was really quite chill. Right, here we go. And now like, stand okay. up the mummy. <laughs> or not? Not well, yet. I was ge I was geifying both no, of no, these. Well, you can't geify that one. one. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of didn't want to leave him like just to get hit but then I guess I had no choice and yeah. then this one was still fine so yeah. and then I just let him fall over because of overtime you know? yeah yeah the only way you win this game is by winning overtime so yeah you can't you can't really all that oh my god it's a double skull you look a dog dim. what a great what a hey. great stand up oh my god you just stood him up to get smashed by two dice and it sucked off a reroll because <laughs> I'm really good at football Jim yeah I know <laughs> Yeah, this turn is difficult. Oh, yeah, while well, you're in. He comes for me. But probably comes a bit too hard. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Flip me, Demi. <laughs> As you're worried much. Yeah, catch it. It is three plus, isn't it? Oh, here we go, and and it's on your turn six as well. So yeah, are we just gonna hand off to the ghoul and run? No, nope. It's gonna dodge. We're, we're good, Jim. We're good. Fully committed to the dodge. Outrageous. It's all good. And a double rush. Wow. I can only dream of dice like this. <laughs> it's like a 3 plus with a built in reroll. It failed yeah. the rush. Yeah. I had to reroll that because I needed him on his feet. Oh, I'm not sure you did, but okay. Yeah, I'm glad I did, put it that way. Like, I'm not sure you had to make it, right? Could have just stood. Could have just not tried the GFR, right? Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably. I don't know why I did the GFI actually. Mm. That's true. Although I'm glad I did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's used all his rerolls. Yeah, you're gonna hate this bit. Feet, on his feet. On his feet. Had the rush. Oh, sideline cage. I mean, what else am I going to do here? Like, honestly, yeah. I, was pretty, I was pretty screwed. I should have tagged the tackle guy on the left, should have tagged the goat that's next to the warrior. 
But I did something like a zombie dodge by accident. Or something. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that dodge. That was a misclick. Right. Yeah. And then that's what you see. <laughs> I genuinely didn't, I, I just didn't see the ogre. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I often make that same mistake as well, not seeing the gigantic strength. I, like, I do, like, it's fucking mad, isn't it? It's mad, but, you know, I understand. Oh, wow. Dodges here. Yeah, with the wrestle guys right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This guy should have definitely gone in there first, or there first, or somewhere not, just not moving him. I was, Jesus. Yeah, mate. I like. I was trying my hardest to like bang him, and it just wasn't happening. <laughs> All right, I, I don't even know what the right play is here. Is it just a one D and hope for a pow? Oh, you can clear this and get and make it a two D. Yeah, yeah. So just hope for a pow here. Got pretty lucky. Yeah. And then this was the bit I wasn't. I didn't want to blitz because he's got wrestle. And then well, I just took the block with the ball. If we get the push, then I can blitz him with the ball as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, pretty good. Look at those KO rolls, baby. Look oh, at those KO yeah, rolls. You are the date. You're the luckiest man alive, Jimmy. I made Wait, a kill is that... roll once. <laughs> five out of six. Uh, four out of five for you, right? Because he, oh, yeah, he made yeah. one out of two. Yeah, but that was very, very lucky. Um, obviously not. I mean, this one didn't. Tails. I like yeah, this, this putting the mummy on, on the bench for the... Officious ref. Officious yeah. ref, yeah. Say professional. Yeah. Professional. Yeah. You can tell I've had a mummy sent off before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Have you noticed his ogre bonehead at all this game? Yeah. No, that was his first one. No, it wasn't. He, tried, he did a blitz, didn't he? Oh, no, that was the humans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm still thinking just... of the humans versus the lizards game. <laughs> to be fair, he didn't really block with him, though, did he? So, mm. like, he just... Was good there. Like, he had a couple of blocks. Yeah, he didn't use him as aggressively as I would have done. Yeah, and then do you know what's even better is I remember to put my mummy back on the pitch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> absolute pro. <laughs> I mean, like, that's that's some high grade blood bowl right there, guys. Yeah. So it's 11 versus 10. Picture. Yeah, 11 versus yeah. 10 and you've got undead. Yeah, this is, oh my god, 11 versus 9 and you've got undead. <laughs> yeah, this looks very good. Yeah. I was quite happy at this point, yeah. Yeah. It was like, mate, it was it was hard, like, honestly. Like, I, it was a lot harder to score in turn 16 than I thought it would be. And then, like, that turn... You know the one where I failed the goal GFI? Like that turn was mm. pretty scary. Yeah, no, yeah. I think, I think you probably should have, you know, attempted penetration a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, just about got, just about got there. Well, I was trying to bang, and then like I wasn't, and he was banging, <laughs> and it was really pissing me off. <laughs> that guy should have been one square left as well. Mm. The zombie, because I'm gonna foul with that other zombie. But then I failed to pick up. Well, I don't think I was going to foul at this point, actually, because I didn't put the tackle guy in this time. It still should have been one left in a way, because it's not doing anything else, is it? Like, he's not. He's, yeah. not, he's so deep that he's not going to run through. And uh, not a great setup. He's, like, way too bad to not reactive at all. Yeah, like, yeah. Something, he, he had nothing. And probably his only chance was a blitz, really, like. Being down a play, it's not his only chance, but his best chance, I guess, is getting a blitz and uh, capitalising on it. We're definitely going to foul the warrior this turn. I can already tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was just like, honestly, because yeah, well, the first foul went so well, mm -hmm. I was just, like, I was just like, yeah. And like now I'm up players, it's like snowball, right? I yeah. feel like it's kind of better to foul up players, like most of the time. Uh, it depends. It depends. 
and it probably doesn't matter so much now. I, well, it's it's good because he's just a good player, isn't he? He's an armor nine player. And he yeah. Forest is foul. That makes it good, and you're doing it with a shithead zombie. Um, so yeah, it's this is definitely. Like, and a KO for a send off is like, well, in my favour. Yeah, right? exactly. Yeah, first half. This isn't a good foul, but second, third half or second half, it's great because he's not coming back. Now. Didn't even break armor. <laughs> <laughs> Diced again. Didn't even break armor. Most dice man in Blood Bowl. I am! <laughs> <laughs> I am! <laughs> I am, Jim! <laughs> Honestly, mate. Like, my win rate on tabletop would be at least 5% higher if I could roll a 3 plus. <laughs> or even a 2 plus. Even a 2 plus. I've failed so many 2 pluses into the end zone in such a short period of games. It's. I've had so many throw teammates scored against me. It's disgusting. The amount of teammate throw teammate touchdowns I've conceded is unreal. <laughs> Didn't like yeah, that. Yeah, there's. Well, I wouldn't need to block and then get the follow up block. Yeah, but what you could have done was surfed him. Yeah. Yeah, you could have surfed him. This guy could have followed. Uh, and hang the guard on. Could have come in there, right? And then you've still got this guy to do the blitz. Or you could have yeah, moved but that guy. I can't, I can't bl that the blitz from that square doesn't Oh what you mean bl you mean surf the rest put the guard in, surf the rest of the I looked at the guard, yeah. the reason I didn't put the guard in because it's a GFI. Yeah, because you hadn't followed with the ghoul. Yeah, I should have yeah. followed with the rest of the ghoul. I did look at this though, I, I looked at I was like, right, put the guard in, but then I was like, No, I can't because it's a GFI. So I yeah. was being careful and that's there is a reason for me not doing that. Yeah. But you're right, I should have followed with the ghoul, put the guard in knocked over, not followed, and then blitzed through with this tackle and then pushed him out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would have been, that would have been, that, like, so, yeah, so, you sh like, you know, that was just, like, kind of a, a lack of kind of planning, right? Because if you'd, if you'd thought yeah, it was yeah. first, then you would have known to, to follow, and I did something similar in, uh, in the previous game, oh, the race, yeah. the race if, I, if I'd thought about the race first, then I, if I'd thought about the ghoul first, I'd move the race to a like... different square, but you, you just don't always do it, do you? Well, it's because it's, it's my autopilot. My autopilot is telling me don't expose the ghoul. And even though he's sandwiched in between mummies, he's somewhat exposed, right? So mm -hmm. it's like, so like my autopilot just says you don't follow with a ghoul. Mm. Not thinking the big picture through and going, whoa, I'm going to put my guard in so I can surf. Mm. And I was looking at the surf the whole time. I looked at it and it, that block was annoying. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely suboptimal. Yeah, you've got to make the block, I guess, but yeah, just one of them things, isn't it? Is that a full pow? It is. Not. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> not. Mummy, mummy blitz one of those, eh? Again, you yeah, can get the guard in now to make us a 3D blitz. I think Don't that. hate. Yeah, boy. Hang on, I fucked this up and guard went in. Oh. Well, you fucked it up by blocking with not mighty blow, I would say. <laughs> like, I, I don't, I, you know, the, the guard's there, isn't it? The guard's there, nice, but that, that could have been a 3D from the mummy. Yeah. I would have rather done that and then just, like, had this guy there. And then have the ball over here, and like you know, move this other mummy up a bit, and then just be more into the side here. Um, and then that would have encouraged him to like move his mummy somewhere, and uh, his ogre somewhere, and then you can hit his ogre and then get past him. Turn twenty-one. We're doing it now. We're surfing him now. Don't worry, Jim. Good. Yeah, this is absolutely set up with the guard. And it let help it, and you get through at the same time, don't you? Yeah, really nice. I used the wrong goal. I should have used the wrestle ball for the assist and moved the block one up further. Yes. Yeah. Good tip is always move the guy furthest away, isn't it? If you can. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely didn't do that. And this got like a little bit sketchy. So I think I have to put my goal like in a 
where I don't really want to. Whereas if I'd done it the other way around, then I could have been one square up and then maybe put the mummy in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if he stands up, we're just surfing him again. Yeah. Oh, well. GG? Yeah, this is GG, isn't it? Wow, four cans for Dimmy G. Easiest one of yeah. his life. In 800 turns, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> the first half, mate, I was like, I was like, I've just lost this, like, and then all the KOs come back, and I was like, I was just so lucky they were KOs, to be honest. Yes, yeah, one of those things, isn't it? It's, it's weird, because, like, as you're playing it, if you're, like, you know, the KOs coach, horrendous, uh... it's weird, because, like, you're thinking, well, this is a great half, but I haven't won the game, because they're not, they're only bloody KOs, and it's it's funny, because, like, you know you shouldn't be complaining about them only being KOs. Yeah, because you get removals, so, uh, yeah. Yeah, but they're not winning the game, they're only winning the half, and it, it, it did win in the half very easily but and the fact is I've got the two kick like the two KO rolls right because I mm. it goes from his touchdown like do you know the word like I was saying to this because someone said someone messaged me and was just like that foul was absolutely ridiculous on turn eight and I was like I was kind of glad that he didn't get sent off so he scored so I got <laughs> the two KO rolls so I could get my players back because you imagine right I got seven guys KO'd he fouls me I fail six of the five, seven rolls or whatever and then I've, I'm setting up with like seven players at nil nil do you know what I mean and he's got 11 so like it could have actually worked out worse for me if he got sent off with a turn eight foul it could have done yeah but it's still, it's still, I know it's like, I know it's mad. It's space cadet thinking, right? It but. is, yeah. <laughs> it, you're just thinking about like best or worst possible case, which is yeah. I mean, obviously, you could have got sent off. I could have got all my KOs back, and then he's down a warrior, and then like you win by scoring touchdowns. It's 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 never ever 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 better. Yeah, to but not then score. like I got the I got the chaos warrior removal with the foul on turn eight, right? And I don't get yeah. that if he doesn't score, right? And yeah, but it's I mean, just it's just extreme luck, isn't it? So it's you can't. Yeah. Extreme luck. It is. It is. But look at dog Dimmy G. Like you have to win by scoring touchdowns. So you have to score. It. Like he has to. Do perfect touchdowns just quietly, you know? Turn. Turn sixteen. Turn twenty-four. Like a professional. <laughs> Two perfect touchdowns. <laughs> wait mm. wait for it wait for it he's got a 5, 4, 3 6, 2D uh, no splits of that guy mm. oh he's wait for it wait for it, the touchdown dance it is Jimmy. <laughs> it is. How did you know? I, I thought this one was extra special <laughs> because like you you get bonus points for like lapping one of your own players. <laughs> so like, I, I like the twirl around my own player. It's better if it's like one of their players, like if they're stunned or something. But yeah, we go for the twirl <laughs> with Mike. <laughs> what a touchdown! Well done, Jim. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed the touchdown dance, honestly, Jim. I, did <laughs> <laughs> I got creative. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, congratulations, Dimmy, and uh, commiserations to Early on Virgoff. What a mouthful. Um, yeah, early well on. Played, Dimmy. There, was some, there was some heavy adversity with all the removals, for sure. Yeah, I need to tidy up my. Oh, I'm definitely making pretty basic mistakes but it everyone does that's the last thing like strider in the season two finals he won the whole thing in just loads of turns he was like halfway through the turn i'll p just pick up this saurus now <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> was never gonna dodge was never gonna do you know do anything except just stand up and uh, he, just, he just did that basically every game and he's you know he's really good like i'm not having a go at him it's, he won the he won the whole thing he played really well in other ways, like there's, there is more to Blood Bowl than just safe moves first, isn't there? But uh, he definitely was lacking in the safe moves first. Um, Mate, it's so hard. Like I get so tunnel visioned on one idea, 
Like honestly, that turn where I didn't surf and I should have surfed, I looked at that surf for so long that I just forgot to do other basic stuff. For it. It's just... I get so tunneled in on certain bits. Tunneled in. Well, there you go. Uh, another zombie MVP diced. <laughs> yep, look at it. Doesn't matter because it's res and uh... just not possible to get a positional MVP with undead. <laughs> so yeah, congratulations, Dimmy. Ah, uh, oh, cheers, Jim. And thanks. For... I hope your game goes well. Thanks, Dimmy. Yep, yeah. and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.